Hello children. Welcome to my class. Motion part 2. In this session, we will discuss what is speed and what is velocity and what is uniform motion and what is non-uniform motion. Let us discuss what is meant by speed with a neat animation. See, observe this animation children. Fizza boy is taking Fizza from Fizza house which is located at point A. He has to deliver his Fizza at the point C. Located at the point C. Observe this motion. See, this boy started from the point A and he reached B and then he reached C and delivered his pizza in the house which is located at the point C. Okay, let us assume the distance between pizza house and to the point B is 4 kilometers and the distance between B and C that is house is 3 kilometers. Now, what is the total distance he has to travel? He has to travel a distance of 4 plus 3 that is 7 kilometers. Okay, let us assume the time taken by him to reach C from A is 2 hours. 2 hours. Now, what is his speed? His speed is equal to distance by time. What is that? Distance by time. So, speed is defined as rate of change of distance. Rate of change of distance is called speed. In this animation, the speed of the Fizza boy is 3.5 kilometers per hour. How much? 3.5 kilometers per hour because from A to B, he has to travel from A to B, that is 4 kilometers and from B to C, it is 3 kilometers, that is 4 plus 3 how much 7 kilometers he has to travel a distance of 7 kilometers in in 2 hours in 2 hours so the distance traveled by him in unit time is equal to how much that is 3.5 kilometers per hour so his speed is 3.5 kilometers per hour okay so whenever the speed is given in kilometers per hour if you want to convert it into meters per second what you have to do you have to multiply with 5 by 18 so what is speed rate of change of distance rate of change of distance is called speed so speed is a scalar quantity remember that speed is a scalar quantity let us observe this animation the fizza boy started from the pizza house located at point A. He has to deliver his pizza at the point C in a house located at the point C. Okay, he may go like this from A to B and B to C. But this pizza boy started from A and moving along this direction, observe the motion of this boy. Okay, he reached the point C. Okay, he delivered his pizza in the house which is located at the point C. So, the shortest distance that is the distance between the initial to the final position, initial to the final position is how much? 5 kilometers here in this diagram, in this animation. So, the rate of change of displacement, the rate of change of displacement is defined as velocity. Okay, what is velocity? Rate of change of displacement. Rate of change of displacement. Here in this diagram, see this one in this animation, his displacement is how much? 5 kilometers. Why? Because ABC is a right angle triangle. So, AC is the hypotenuse. So, that is AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. Okay, so according to Pythagoras theorem, hypotenuse square is equal to sum of the squares on the remaining two sides. Okay, if you find the square root, how much you will get? How much? 5 kilometers. 5 kilometers. Now, let us assume, see, let us assume the time taken to reach from A to point to C, that is to the house, is 2 hours. 2 hours. Now, the velocity is equal to how much? 2.5 kilometers per hour. The velocity of this pizza boy is equal to how much? 
2.5 kilometers per hour. So, what is velocity? Rate of change of displacement. As I told you earlier, displacement is a vector quantity. So, velocity is also a vector quantity. Velocity is also a vector quantity. So, the shortest distance between A and C is nothing but what is that? Displacement. Okay. Displacement in unit time is known as velocity. So, what are the units? Meters per second. Meters per second. Are you clear? Okay. Children, you observe this animation. The car started from the point A and reached the point B in one second. Again, it reached the point C in next second. Again, it reached the point D in the next second. Again, it reached the point E in the next second. Observe this animation clearly. Again, it reached the point F in next second. So, if you observe this carefully, observe this animation carefully, here the car started from the point A, okay, t is equal to 0 seconds, at t is equal to 0 seconds, the position of the car is at A, after 1 second, the car reached B, after next second, 1 second, it reached C, after the next second, it reached the point D, after next second, it reached the point E. After next second, it reaches the point F. So, the distance between AB and BC and CD and DE and EF all are equal to 5 meters. Let us assume 5 meters. So, what do you understand by this one? The car is covering equal distances in equal intervals of time. Equal distances in equal intervals of time. Observe this one. In first second, it covered a distance of 5 meters. In the next one second, it also covered 5 meters. In the next second also, that is 3 seconds, it covered a distance of 5 meters. In the next second, that is 4 seconds, it covered a distance of 5 meters. If you observe this one, for each and every second, it covers a distance of 5 meters. So, if the body travels equal distances in equal intervals of time, the body is said to be in uniform motion. What is that? Uniform motion. How small the time intervals may be, if the body covers equal distances in equal intervals of time, the body is said to be in uniform motion, in uniform motion. So, in uniform motion, speed of the body is constant, speed of the body is constant. Okay, are you clear about that one? Children, observe this animation, the car started from A and reached B, again it started from B and reached C and then it reached D. So, when T is equal to 0 seconds, the position of the car is at A. Okay. After 1 second, after 1 second, it travelled a distance of 1 meter. Next, in the next second, after 2 seconds, the car travelled 5 meters distance. That is the distance between B and C. That is B, C is equal to 5 meters. Meters or kilometers, whatever it may be. Okay. Next one. Observe this one. From C to D, it travelled a distance of 3 meters. It travelled a distance of 3 meters. But what is the time interval? 1 second. Next one. Here also 1 second. That is 2 seconds minus 1 second is again 1 second. Next, the difference between 3 seconds and 2 seconds is again 1 second. Are you clear? Equal intervals of time. Okay. The car travelled unequal distances. Not only car, any vehicle or any object travelled unequal distances in equal intervals of time. In equal intervals of time. So, if the body travels unequal distances in equal intervals of time, the body is said to be in non-uniform motion. Non-uniform motion. So, if the body travels unequal distances in equal intervals of time, the body is said to be in non-uniform motion. Now, in non-uniform motion, velocity and speed is not constant. Okay, velocity is not constant and speed is not constant. They changes. They changes. Are you clear about that one? Okay, are you clear? Here, see this one. What is the speed of the car here? Distance by time, 1 divided by 1, that is 1 meter per second. Here, that is 5 divided by 5 divided by 1, that is 5 meters. Here, 3 meters per second, 3 meters per second. Here, the speed of the car is varying. 
in non uniform motion the speed and velocity is not constant the varies the varies are you clear about that one see in non uniform motion we discussed the speed is not constant the speed is not constant not only speed the velocity is also not constant means the vehicle or the objects moves unequal distances in equal intervals of time unequal distances in equal intervals of time so in non uniform motion the speed of the car is changing the speed of the car is changing so at this time what we have to use we have to use average speed the concept of average speed because the speed of the car is varying with respect to time so what is average speed average speed is defined as the total distance by total time taken total distance by total time taken are you clear about that one so whenever a vehicle or an object moves in non uniform motion we have to use the concept of average speed average speed in the previous example the average speed of the vehicle is equal to 1 plus 5 plus 3 that is total distance is 9 divided by time taken is equal to 3 seconds 9 divided by 3 is equal to 3 meters per second what is that 3 meters per second so the concept of average speed is used in the case of non uniform motion non uniform motion okay in the same manner average velocity average velocity is equal to total displacement by total time taken total displacement by total time taken okay are you clear about that one so we have to remember in non uniform motion speed and velocity are not constant they changes so in the case of average velocity total displacement by total time taken we have to calculate to get average velocity if the velocity is changing at uniform rate if the velocity is changing at uniform rate then we have to use the concept of average velocity so what is the formula for average velocity if the velocity changes at uniform rate that is u plus v by 2 where u stands for initial velocity and v stands for final velocity okay you have to remember this formula okay whenever there is the change taking place in the velocity in a uniform manner if the velocity changing at a uniform rate then we have to use this formula otherwise we have to use what is this average speed or average velocity okay are you clear about that one okay let us discuss how to calculate the speed of the vehicle or car or bus in which we are traveling so before calculating the speed of the car or bus or the vehicle what we have to do we have to find out the distance traveled the distance traveled by the car so let us assume i am traveling from hyderabad to bongiri okay hyderabad to bongiri so how to calculate the speed of the car speed of my vehicle or speed of my car so what do we use we use odometer we use odometer odometer is used to find the distance traveled by a car or a vehicle are you clear about that one? this is odometer see this one here it is it gives the information of distance so when i am traveling from hyderabad to bhavanagiri first what i have to do i have to record the initial reading in the odometer after reaching bongiri i have to record the final reading in the odometer let us assume the time taken is 1 hour so then the difference in the readings divided by time will give the speed of the vehicle in which i am traveling are you clear about that one so odometer is an instrument which is provided in each and every vehicle to calculate the distance traveled to calculate distance traveled next one then how do we calculate the velocity of the car or the velocity of the vehicle so what we have to do we have to calculate displacement displacement we measure the displacement with the help of the google map or simply maps so many maps are provided to measure the displacement of the vehicle in google map you will find a scale you will find a scale for example the scale is some the distance between hyderabad to bongiri in the scale it is given 
7 centimeters. So, 1 centimeter is equal to some 500 meters. Imagine 1 centimeter is equal to 500 meters. So, 7 centimeters is nothing but 7 phaja. That is how much? How much? 7 phaja, how much? 35. Are you clear about that also? It is the distance is 35 kilometers. The distance between Hyderabad to Bongir is 35 kilometers. So, the displacement is 35 kilometers. What is the time taken? So, displacement divided by time taken will give the velocity of the vehicle. Velocity of the vehicle. Are you clear? Now, when we are moving in a vehicle, listen, see this one. This is speedometer. This is the speedometer. Observe this one. See, here 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. This gives the speed, not the speed in the sense, not the average speed. It gives the instantaneous speed. What is that? Instantaneous speed. What do you mean by instantaneous speed? Speed of a vehicle at a particular instant, at a particular instant is called, what is that? Instantaneous speed. For example, here in this uh, speedometer, what is that? 143 kilometers, 143 kilometers per hour. This is instantaneous speed. If you want to know the speed, speed, instantaneous speed of the vehicle, we have to use, what is that? Speedometer, okay? So, instantaneous speed is measured using the speedometer. Are you clear about that one? I hope I made the concepts crystal clear to you. Do subscribe and do support my channel. In the next class, we will discuss motion, how to represent motion using the graph. Okay, motion using the graph and what is the graph for uniform motion, for non-uniform motion, how to draw the distance and time graphs and how to draw uniform motion graphs and non-uniform motion graphs. And we also discuss few problems on motion chapter. Don't miss my class. Don't forget to watch my next class. Do subscribe and do support my channel. Thank you children.